Well, for an ordinary guy, Jim Brooke has helped make an extraordinary find. Fragments from the largest meteorite fall ever discovered in Canada. One of the most important ever discovered anywhere. It all began last January on what was then a frozen taggish lake straddling the border between British Columbia and the Yukon. Today, as Paul Hunter reports, scientists showed off what they're calling clues to the creation of our solar system. Encased in blocks of ice, tiny specks of real life, true blue stardust. Bits of meteorite found in northern Canada last winter on display for the first time today in Calgary. It's the biggest, most significant find of its kind in decades. So this is a once in a generation type of meteorite to recover, but to recover it frozen like this, to keep it frozen is uh, the first time it's ever happened. And you can't count on it happening again. Frozen because it happened to crash onto Lake Tagish, south of Whitehorse, when it was frozen in January. And by chance, found by this man, Jim Brooke, driving across the lake well, in a truck. I was, like I said earlier, pretty excited. My, uh, my, initial, my initial inclination was to get as many as I could. Uh, I was pretty sure it was meteorite. You don't find rocks half a mile from the shore out on the lake. Now he's a hero in the world of meteorite research. Experts from Canada and the U.S. went to the lake looking for more, and they found plenty. Oh, very nice. 500 pieces in all, the remains of a meteor the size of a minivan. Oh, Alan. Oh, beautiful. It was high-pressure work because there was a deadline. Here's Lake Tagish today. Whatever's left of the meteor, long gone to the bottom. What was found is for research. Thanks to the trajectory caught on film and videotape the morning it rocketed over Whitehorse, scientists have already learned about its orbit, which may help tell whether a massive meteor will one day ever hit the Earth. But the real treasure is what it's made of. The rocks are older than Earth and have in them amino acids and carbon, the building blocks of life. Some people have even suggested that the organic material in these meteorites, uh, in the very earliest stages of the formation of the solar system, seeded the early Earth in so, uh, at some level. The find of a generation for scientists, the thrill of a lifetime for the guy who found it, with the hope it'll bring clues to where we all came from. Not bad for something that just fell out of the sky one day back in January. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Calgary. That's the National on News World. I'm Peter Mansbridge. Thanks for watching Up Next Counterspin with Avi Lewis.